Hello, and welcome to another edition of Sneak Peek Critiques from the Writer's Nexus. Sneak Peek Critiques are all about the very first eight lines of any book or story. Most editors and literary agents will tell you that they usually know within the first eight sentences whether they want to continue reading a manuscript or not. That's why I think it's so important to look at the first eight sentences of best-selling books. Today we will be looking at The Tattooist of Auschwitz by Heather Morris. This is a drama based on true events. Sentence number one. April 1942. Lael rattles across the countryside, keeping his head up and himself to himself. Okay, I wasn't sure how to pronounce that name. It's Lael is very unusual. Obviously a man's name sounds foreign. And this idea that he's keeping his head up and himself to himself suggests that he is in an environment where you don't want to rattle authority even a little bit and that he's in a somewhat dicey situation and since the title is the tattooist of auschwitz we might assume that lael is that tattooist sentence number two the 25 year old sees no point in getting to know the man beside him who occasionally nods off against his shoulder Lael doesn't push him away. Okay, this is another longer sentence, like the first one. We now know that Lael is 25, and although he doesn't want to get to know the man next to him, he doesn't push him away when he falls asleep on his shoulder. So there's a lot of tension in this environment. We know that he's on a train, so it is a it's public transit, assuming. So he's definitely living under a lot of scrutiny and tension, this we know. So he doesn't want to rock the boat or make a scene in any way. So, so far, I'm definitely very interested. Let's move on. Sentences 3, 4, and 5. He is just one among countless young men stuffed into wagons designed to transport livestock. Having been given no idea where they were headed, Lael dressed in his usual attire, a pressed suit, a clean white shirt and tie, always dress to impress. Okay, so now we know this isn't just a regular train. This is a train designed to transport livestock. He's also dressed in a suit that says he normally wears, and always dressed to impress is in italics, and that is the way it was written. So these sentences are written exactly as I found them in the books. We also know this is April 1942. It said that in the very beginning. So this sounds pretty scary, like he's being shipped off to a concentration camp. But let's find out more. Sentences 6, 7, and 8. He tries to assess the dimensions of his confinement. The wagon is less than 10 feet wide, but he can't see the end to gauge its length. Okay, so now they've chopped up this information into three different sentences, and he's trying to assess the dimensions, which seems important somehow, not just like something to pass the time. Although it could be that he is just trying to occupy his mind somehow, but it's almost like math calms him somehow. I can also see that that car that he's in you start to get the sense that it's overcrowded and they're all just sitting on the floor. So, burning question, does it make the reader want to keep reading? And for me, yes, absolutely. Although, this seems like a pretty dark story, so if I was in the mood for it, yeah, I would move ahead with this. And now, I don't know this author, but so far, so good. Okay, so that was another edition of Sneak Peek Critiques. We were looking at The Tattooist of Auschwitz by Heather Morris. Please visit thewritersnexus.com for more information on writing and creativity, and I wish you many imaginative tales.